Hey, this is Elite RC. I know it's been a while, but been real busy. Now I got a little time on my hands. So we're going to cover uh, the FID racing, whatever they call these damn things. What they call these? Dust proof plates. Um, they only make these for the 5T. If you notice, and I'm, I'm gonna show you what, what, what I mean by, they're a bit big because the five, the low C five B, is a, uh, the platform, uh, the A arms is not as long as the five T, but I gotta have them and look at it, so nice. So there's no way in the world I got a plan. It's called modification. They come with uh, the hardware. They don't come with these. I got a different plan for these. So I added these lock nuts on them. So I'm gonna take you over to the, we're gonna go over to the 5B and I'm gonna show you. We're gonna do a few measurements. Okay. Now we over here at the 5B, uh, low C 5B that is. And uh, I have my uh, FID racing uh, dust covers. So when I pull one out, like I told you, this is meant for the low C5T. So they're a little bit longer. I'm about to show you what I mean. This is the wrong side. This is the right side. As you can tell, if I put it here, as you can see, it's too long. So we're going to have to shave this down a notch so I need to bring out my calipers and take a measurement of how long I need it. I'm thinking cutting it off right here at the at the end. So let me get my calipers and see how far I need to go. Hope I ain't have this next to a magnet. Either my battery going, you know. Yeah, I got something going on. Well, it's something going on over here. Still zeroed out. Calipers look like they're acting up. So, we're going to go. I'm not going to go from under, so we're going to go over. From here. say from here to here. So I, wanna, I do want to stop before that. We're going to go from here to here. So on this, it's going to be 11 point, so 118.3. Eighteen point three. It's going to put me exactly where I thought it was going to be. So, <clears throat> back over here to let's the go back to the board. over here to the drawing board. Like I said, we're looking at one hundred eighteen point three millimeters. Oh, this is getting out of hand. I must need a new battery. So from the inside right here, right here, 118. One three. Got my silver Sharpie. And we're gonna do it from the back. That way I can write my silver, get my silver on here. I don't want to mess up anything. So 
that I just marked my spot. Basically, I just marked, got it measured out of 118 millimeters right here, 118.3, and then I got my mark right here. As you can see, it's marked. That's where I'm gonna cut across. It's gonna work out beautifully, just watch. I'm also gonna uh, mark the next one. Okay, got that one marked. Now I'm gonna get a, give me a homemade straight edge. And you know what that is. Real quick, let me find me a, I'm gonna use the straight edge. You gotta have these in your, in your collection. You look like I might need another one. It might have been around a magnet too long or something, who knows? Or it might just simply need another battery. But I'll try the battery out before I order another one. It's not the best one, but it works, so. I'm not really worried about that. Let's find something to use as a straight edge. Perfect. We use the Oli Mac card. And you mark it on the back, just so you won't mess up none of the front with this silver line. And there we go. Got both of them marked. This to make it the FID. Dustproof plates for the 5T. They don't make these for nothing but the 5T. It's to make them fit your 5B. I figured I'd do a video over this instead of, I've been doing a few things all, on and off to the car without doing videos, but I feel this one might need to be seen. So, I don't have a table saw or anything, so. Dremel it is. That's what I do have. Like I said, you gotta have the backup ready because it always works like that. One down, one more to go. And I'm not looking for it to be perfect, because we're gonna we're gonna straighten it out. Like I said, I'm not looking for it to be perfect, but hey, it is what it is.
Some people are not going to like this idea, but it works for me. I just want something nice back there. And FID make, if you ask me, FID makes some of the, when it comes to this, this product alone right here, these are some of the best on the market. They're aluminum, they're not plastic. Oh, well, it seems to be aluminum. No, they're not aluminum. Whatever material they are, the better than uh, was it? What else is sold out there? a little bit cleaner than the other one. cup was a lot cleaner than this cut because uh, it's because I went straight on with this one but it's the beauty of it all so now we're going to go to the sander okay so now we're at the modification center I got my grinder right here and my sander belt sander slash disc sander I would do it on a disc but I'm going to come on top and do it on the grinder just to level all this off, make sure it's not sharp and won't cut yourself, you know. So, start it up. These are carbon fiber. This is some type of fiber because they had the uh, fiber, uh, 
I, I see the threading, but look at that, rounded off. Came out better than what I thought it was gonna come out. Cut down for a 5B. It might not be exact. They're close enough. Yep, see, not exact, but close enough. I'm just looking for practical. So now let's go. Let's go back over to the uh, 5B and cut that amount off for each one of them. Had to. Not worried about seeing the whole FID. You know what it is when you see them. This one says FID this way. The FID on this one is cut off on this way. I can curl less. But they fit the 5B now. This one right here goes on this side. So now, fits perfect. Now I'm going to use this hole. I'm not going to use this hole. I'm going to use this one. Because this one still comes in between here. And still comes in between right here. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. I just want you to see. So we're gonna take the rear off of this off of the five B and I'm gonna do the install. So now I have the five B rear end off. And uh we have the uh FID dust dust proof yeah dust proofs for the uh rear A arms dust cover so I'm going to get my uh, machinery out and we're going to go at it. I'm going to install these today. Matter of fact, i got to also show you what, what I'm doing with the hardware. Now for the hardware, it came with uh, these uh, bolts. It's supposed to, it's supposed to uh, replace for the low C5T, it's supposed to replace the uh, sway arm. It's a little longer, but I'm not going to mount them to the uh, sway arm mounts, the sway bar mounts. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I, I put these ends on them. They didn't come with these ends, it only comes with the bolt. I put these ends on it because I, I got a different way I'm about to operate with this. You're about to see. So, but I do plan on using these lock nuts. Got some up my sleeve with this one. So we have this side. First thing first, we're gonna zoom in. I turn it this way so you can see everything. I'm gonna zoom in. Showing everything. Everything you gotta do. This, I believe this may be an eight millimeter. Let's see if my eight millimeter is deep enough to get into this. Uh, it looks like it. Yeah. Okay, so it's deep enough. So we're gonna also get me a wrench for the rear. I'm a wrench for the rear because you gotta hold on to the rear of it. Back just a little bit so I can see it all. So you want to hold it from the rear and see which side break loose first. Okay, so that's on a little tighter. So we're going to go and get my other 8mm. I have two of these 8mm wrenches. I, re I repeat, when you're doing, when you're dealing with fit scales, you gotta have multiple tools of the same kind because you might need them. So, let's see. Which 
which one is. You can see which one is coming off. Thumbs loose. I put a bet it's my rear. Yep, it's the rear. So whichever one is coming off first. So the back side loosened up all the way first. What we're gonna do is take this hedge pin out. Look at that. That's fucking beautiful. That kit came with the works. So smooth. See, see how this is, right? So since this, that side came on first, what I'm gonna do is simply turn it around and slide it right back to the rear. See? Slid it back through the rear. Therefore, when I install this side, which is gonna be right here, see how it's coming together? And also what I'm gonna do I'm about to drill me a hole because right behind this, the fact where this hole for the original 5T, right behind this is room for my bolt to go back and slide through. So I'm gonna level it off and right in the crease, it's a crease right here in the line. I'm going to right there in the center, I'm going to take my silver Sharpie. You gotta have these. When you put them on dark surfaces, you get to see it real good. Got to have them. So I'm about to. Right there, in the, smack dad in the middle. So we're gonna take that off. Right here on the line, on the crease of the line. Got my Sharpie. And we're gonna drill a hole out. see which one is that going to let it through I always start with a smaller drill for a draw a smaller bit first before I go too big got my Mikita drill set See if these if this goes through the boat. Yeah, it's perfect because when I drill through, I still wanted the thread into there, so I, I did that perfectly. So now we're gonna come here. I'm gonna take we're gonna take the lock nut that came off of that. Simply put it back on. So I'm gonna put the Put my lock nut inside of here, eight millimeter. And we're not gonna tighten it up, we're just gonna mount, pretty much mount. 
mount it on real quick. So now I've got it pretty much on. And we're going to come through this with this. And I'm also show you, show you the other side. So let me get a, get a drill up. I think I already got my, I think it looked like a three millimeter. And it is a three. Perfect. So as I'm going, I'm gonna put a, a lock nut on there on the back, back side. And sometimes when it's a real tight fit, which this is the case, I'll pull one of these moves here. I'll take a set of clamps, give them a, pull one of these moves just like this, and then I'll drop it down on here while I'm, while I'm drilling. Get my lighting over this real good while I'm drilling. And that's on. And also let me let me tighten this part back up. Now you got a full install. And it's, I'm gonna show you what I did. And here, I don't know if, see how, you see that? I went straight back into here. I drilled the hole out. I got my lock nut right here. So, this bad boy is on, it's mounted. And guess what, it still has its full range of motion. That's what you wanna make sure. I didn't want to bring it up enough because I want to make sure it had its full range of motion. Got my, see? I want to make sure when it flicks, you don't want it too far. To me, that's perfect. Beautiful. That's how you make the 5T fit the 5. 5T was 55 feet. I'm only going to show the one side, and I'll show you, show you how it looks when I get done and put it on the car. And here's your finished product. Remounted and ready to go. exactly what I was looking for. I repeat exactly what I was looking for. Let me zoom in on that a little bit more.
And that's your finished product. The Low C5 T, the FID Low C5 T A arm dust covers. Or whatever the hell they call them, dust proof guards. Modified for the 5B. I've showed you everything. All you got to do is do it. And there. It's dirty. It's a lead RC. Be proud.